We're also getting a lot of pictures from you on our Facebook page. Take a look at these two from Casey and Amy Gordon and Gaffney. They took these pictures of a tree that came down right on front of their house. You, you can see the pictures they sent. The ground just gave way around the tree. Tell us it tore off their gutters, took out a fence. And, and here's TJ Youngman's picture on Facebook tonight. A tree down on West Darby Road outside of Northside Park in Greenville. This is taking about 8.30 tonight. You can send us your pictures too. Just post them right there on the Facebook page. We started getting reports of trees coming down early this morning. This one on power lines on Lawrence Road. Crews, of course, had to shut that road down to make the repairs. This happened near the Vinings at Laurel Creek Apartments. Here's one, a massive tree that fell on someone's home in Greenville. This is the intersection of Trails End and Wilderness Lane. The homeowners tell us they've been keeping an eye on that tree ever since they moved in 11 years ago. They also say they've done a lot of renovations to the home, which unfortunately has now been hit by a tree. Uh, they're focusing on the positives, though. We just driven under the tree. We're driving around the neighborhood, sort of checking things out last night, and when we came back around, we noticed that it had fallen right behind us, so we were very fortunate. City of Greenville says that down tree was removed from the roadway, which had been closed for a while. It got it out of the way about six hours ago. A complete list of the roads that are still closed is right now on WSPA.com.